hear the story of a king that made many cheer. He was the greatest of the great and more pure-hearted than a saint. He was generous and kind and had a brilliant mind. He was as fair as could be, and all would agree that he was charitable and giving and valued freedom and good living. Yes, the old king had a heart of gold, and... Wait, wait, wait. <coughs> Are you talking about old King Gold? Yes, why? Because your story stinks like mold. Where'd you get your facts? In a fantastical dream? Actually, I read them all in his biography. Right, now here's the thing. He owned the printing press and told what could be said. Anyone who went against him ended up in jail or um, got no bread. He told the people what to think, believe, and love. He kept all below him so that he would stay above. If you want to hear the real story of the king without a heart, then sit and listen close. Because I'm about to... Uh, <clears throat> start. Um, okay. Okay, but can I use the outhouse first? I feel a lot of pressure, like something's going to burst. Yes, but be quick. Make it fast. We don't know how long our audience's attention spans will last. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back. Now, please go ahead. I want to hear your version of the story instead. Hey, <sighs> ye, hey, ye, come hither in air. The story of a king that made many fear. And this shall be a story for the times we are in. A time when old ways end and new ways begin. The king was nastier than snail soup served ice cold. Thank you for tuning in to this week's Magic Kids story. Old King's Gold. <laughs> Subscribe to the Magic Kids app to hear the rest of this story, as well as the world's most magical audio library featuring new stories, music, meditations, and learning activities every week. Our fair pay publishing model pays our artists 50% of the subscription revenue so they can continue making magic for your kids. Already a fan? Share Magic Kids with three friends and help us raise the spiritometer today. Thanks for tuning in, and you'll hear us next time. <laughs>